Hey, we're starting round three of this Pioneer League Red Black Fabled Arcanus, which honestly is just a, a, a red black value deck that has Dreadhorde Arcanus and Fabled the Mirror Breaker. Some young PZ, some Croxes. I, I feel like if I maybe made the deck more strongly towards. I lost the die roll versus Urx. Uh, if I more strongly put an emphasis on ETB value or towards spell, I think the deck is divided too much the way it is. Except for having Jeggy. Jeggy can be fine. Uh, this is a perfectly acceptable opening hand, except turn, no turn one play, which is rough. Uh, assuming this is a mono red, this is a little bit more forgivable in, in Pioneer. No turn one thought sees? Okay. Oh, and what do you know? We drew our turn one play. I will say of this deck, I wish the deck had more turn one plays, so maybe that's something to consider for future build. Maybe running main deck duresses. Completely dead versus creature decks. Mono black value, maybe? Is this... This might be a mono black deck, which is fine. Okay, so next turn... Yeah, actually, I think that's it. So this turn, we are going to play Dreadhorde Arcanus. And if they have multiple creatures, we'll be able to Fatal Push. And we'll see if he, he's willing to trade. I don't think he's willing to trade. Or if he or she. I don't think they're willing to trade. If they are, I don't care. But next turn, we'll be able to Fatal Push no matter what. And then if they play another creature, we might get some Dreadhorde Arcanist value, which is kind of where we want to be at. Soren. This is Mono Black Vampires. Okay. Oh, they're gonna blow up my dragon back to list. Yeah, that's fair. Can't even be mad. Can't even be mad. Um, I can, however, get very even. Uh, yeah, let's do... Yeah, I really don't want him being able to play stuff for free and that's kind of ticking me off a lot. Uh, honestly, this is still probably the play. Get more creatures, and I'll be able to have mana for Fatal Push if I draw a land. Oh, I already have the land. So claim. I, I really want to save fame for something else, but honestly, this is just a perfectly cromulent reason to use it. Uh, oh, I should have done it on him because it wouldn't have mattered. It would have been extra point of damage. That's fine. Um, whatever. Punt punts are punts. Uh, let's see, your negative three lets you sneak a, sneak attack a vampire. Okay. So, for now, whatever creature they play, unless they're playing Soren the Mirthless, I can Fatal Push. Yep. Dusk Legion Zealot. I can Fatal Push to play another creature. I can also Fatal Push it with Dreadhorde Arcanist. Unless they sacrifice it again. Ugh. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I guess they take my Thoughtseize. And then they do this, and then I'll have to Blood Tithe Harvester. So they probably... I don't know, I think if I was them, I'd take Fable. Yeah, Fable's the correct play. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a punt. I should have done the extra damage. This still would have happened, but I would have... Storm would have been down one instead of what he's at now, which is... Again, this isn't ideal, but it's not the worst. Again, that's why I want to do more of these Pioneer Leagues so I can, you know, become a better player and all that stuff. We're going to attack Soren because we want to keep him off his ability to sneak and show a vampire. And we're going to play down this high of the eye tyrant so next turn we can go in for the coup de grace. Ideally, he could unload his hands. I guess if you have, no, because if you have two blockers, I'm going to be able to kill him with a blood type harvester and then put effort into killing into killing Soren. So he's splashing white, I assume, for other vampire stuff. But obviously, he doesn't have any of it in hand. Okay, let's go. Yeah, which one are you just... Oh, yeah. Sure. Sure, that's not great for me, but, you know, whatever. Oh, okay, yep. And then Hive of the Eye Tyrant will... Yup, you get lifelink. You're a strong boy. Yup. Yeah, Mutavolt's a great card. That's gonna get really annoying really fast. Okay, so let's finally kill Soren.
Well, so I have a lot of rummaging I can do. Yep, Shambling Vent is very good. Oh no, land beat down. This is not great either. Five to the dome, crap. Okay, well, I mean, ooh, that's pretty good. Okay, so I think the play here is actually to play Young Peasy and try to rummage for a kill spell, I guess. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm, yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, it will matter, but it doesn't matter when I do it. twice in response to this fatal push see if we can get that's pretty good so that's fine they're gonna be able to activate both of their lands dang done dang dude okay yeah maybe i was just misplaying here yeah i i don't know how much of a difference that um uh, extra value damage from no, I was trying to... Mm. It's fine. It's fine. We'll we'll leave it for next turn. That's my fault. I, I'm playing like I'm playing in paper where I'm going to pitch this to Blood Token. But it's fine. We're just going to have to animate my Hive of the Eye Tire and hope they don't have a Fatal Push. And just call it a day. Man, misplaying sucks, but the important thing about misplaying is that they are important lessons you will never forget. Because, you know, you got your teeth... Like I said before, I'm getting my teeth kicked in because this is, like, an important lesson. And the lesson isn't like, oh, no, I suck. The lesson is just that... Oh, cool. Neat. Um, mm, okay. Yes. sick okay that's that's the good stuff i i am so grateful to whatever magic gods there are that are letting me do this because i don't i am unworthy and do not deserve any of this i don't deserve this cornucopia this bounty that's being bestowed upon me now i could have young pz village rights croxa but really just uh I, I mean i wouldn't have known because i just drew it but like seriously I, I don't deserve this generosity. Power stance. She's one to destroy target creature power four or greater. That's fine. I don't mind. Because I'm just going to sacrifice. This is where I work on anyway. So, Drayden Skull Summit. Uh, they are hellbent. So, there's no point in doing it. Do they have me dead on board? Five. And then pump. I think I am dead on board. Damn it. So, pump. Yep. Just five, seven. Yeah, I think they messed up. I think they could have double pumped for. Nope, that wasn't seven. So they have. It's still seven, no matter what. It's seven. So I have. I'll be at one life, so I won't be able to thought see. So I need a young peasy. Hope I draw something. Okay. Yep, that's correct. Because you're not getting as much damage in, but you're padding your own life total, that's fine. It's only one less life to pad your life total too, and it, that's correct. Not even mad. Yep. My country for a claim fame right now. Nope. Uh, it doesn't matter. Play Young Peasy. And then I leave up high with the Eye Tyrant, and then hope that they get greedy, I guess? Yeah, this is- this game's done. Show me it. Yep, okay. Let's go game two. Let's see what we got. So they have... This is too big. Uh, we want Dread Boars because they got Sorens. That's for sure. Do we want to feed the Sorens? No. They do not have Graveyard Interaction that I can see. Claim the Firstborn is nice for, the gra for that interaction, but I think maybe we should be going the full hand attack mode. Well, they have kill spells, so the raised dead effect is going to be relevant. I think I'm going to... Do I want to get rid of... Graveyard Trespasser is important. Hmm. Trade Horde Arcanus gets me more... These village rights. 
It's really hard to cut things. Dang it. Okay, so Blood Tithe Harvester maybe isn't that great right now. It gets me blood tokens, but it doesn't actually get me there. We drop one table of the Mirror Breaker. Uh, we need Grave Root. We need that. Blood Chief's Thirst is important for Soren. We need those failed pushes. That would have been great last game. Put on one Thoughtseize. Maybe it is a quantity game. Maybe I should be going up on the Go Blanks. I mean, it's not a Graveyard Heavy deck, and that's kind of the incidental value you get from it. I think actually with this vampire aggro deck, maybe these are too slow, so we should be going with these. And that's the deck. There we go. I think that's correct, but we'll see. It does let me get more young PZ value. Dreadhorde Arcanist can cast off a claim, the famed claim. I'm now running Croxa. Maybe go down to Village Rights, go back up to that. And just go heavy on the discard plan. Discard and removal is what we're on. These technically are perfect for, but whatever. I think they're gonna probably bring in graveyard hate. Like they might have their own graveyard trespassers, which is fine because I can play out of the graveyard. Dang it, that is almost keepable. That is not keepable. That's unfortunately what we're gonna settle on. Uh, graveyard or bottom, bottom, done. So we'll start by playing a Seer Step Pathway, the Darren Apicure, and then we're going to use the Treasure to loot away Foxa, and hopefully get land, and hopefully not die, because we need this Black Source for a Blood Chief's Thirst. Never mind. Never never get punished. Never be punished. Uh, we're playing this now because Croxa into a Graveyard Trespasser is never fun. It's probably going to have to happen. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Oh. Okay, whatever. Um, they probably have another failed push in hand. I'm not concerned. I played that kid from Dying Darko. I'm not afraid anymore! Um, what she starts that? Probably, yeah. Uh, cast. Black. Because that thing's a problem. It grows really fast. Uh, not to be a downer. I think that Mulligan's gonna kill me this game, and that's fine. You know, it is what it is. You can't, you can't win them all. I don't care about hitting land, I'd rather have this, yeah. Well, on the upside, they've missed their land drop. I'm slowly filling up my yards. So there might be a point where I'll actually be able to escape this Croxa with no, well, let's see. Maybe this Blood Epicure will get there. Okay, so I have Croxa right and ready to go. So that's cool. Um, in theory, I just need to get two more cards in the yard. But, whatever. Actually, I'm going to turn off auto yields. I turned off the auto yields because I want to be able to crack this blood token if they kill this. Oh, Acre's pretty good. Acre's is very not bad. That's what the white splash is for. Acre. Okay. Part of me kind of wants to hold on to this for the chance of a village rights. But let's go ahead and... Mm, I did it again. Okay. That's fine. Let's just... Let's go. So I'm two lands away, two cards away, and then I'll be able to blood token another. So if they kill my Voldaire and Epicure, I can escape Croaks the next turn, and I'm probably walking into a Exile spell. That's not ideal. Oh yeah, so they got Graveyard Trespassers, which means they probably have another one, so this is just GG. Yep, Graveyard Trespasser. This is such a good card. I just got my playset in Korean today. And it's not that my Pioneer cards need to be Korean like my modern cards. It's just, uh, yeah, that's cool, I mean. Well, no, let's, let's play through. I don't know what my outs are, but let's play through. Um, that's cute. Uh, is that a cost or an effect? Okay, well, that is a cost, so we'll concede game. Dang, they got me. And that's what I get for not being a good player and running bad decks. 
Come on.